What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Clash Detective. So we are now going to run our Clash Detective. So I'm going to use this uh, sample model from uh, Revit. So this is just a sample project. Okay, so now let's start running our Clash test. But let's create one first. So just a review. So let's click Add Test. And then you double click this. Right? And then after that, you put the name. So let's say what I want is the uh, clash test between ducks and pipes for level 1. So I'm going to name it level 1, ducks, space versus level 1, uh, pipes, enter. Okay, and then after that, so let's go to the select tab. So last time we have discussed... Uh, rules tab and then also some of the options that we have on our select tab these options that we have here below okay so I'm going to expand this one and then look for level 1 so for my selection A I'm going to select docs and then for my selection B I'm going to select uh, pipes very simple and then I'll be using services uh, clash settings and then for the type here, I'm going to use hard clash without a tolerance. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, so let's run that one. There you go. So in this model, so I have 10 clashes, right? So clash 1, so there's my clash 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so by the way, there is a transition whenever I click clash issue and uh, this works because of the settings that we have here so if you click display settings you can see here uh, animate transition so if this is checked so based on the definition here so it will animate whenever you change the location of your uh, whenever you click an issue or okay here on our uh, results tab okay So there's the transition. So if this is unchecked, animate transitions, so it will just go straight away to the clash without any transition, right? So you have that option here on our display settings. So another thing that you can change here is the item colors, the colors here. So you can change it. If you do not want to have a color, just click that one. Okay, now for this uh, red and green color, you can change it here on the settings. I think I already showed this one last time on our first uh, discussion of uh, Navisworks Clash Detective. So you can select options and then you can look for tools, Clash Detective, and this is what I'm talking about. So you can change the color here, the highlight colors, so you can change that. So I select here, cancel. All right, uh, and another thing is you also have an option here if you want to highlight all the clashes. Just check that one, and then Navisworks will highlight all the clashes here. So this is unchecked, and this is checked, right? So I'm just going to make it uh, unchecked. Okay, and another option that we can change here is the settings for isolation. So for isolation, so you have two options. So you have dim other. So it isolate the clashing items by deeming the other items. So as you can see, the other items here are dimmed. Okay. And make sure transparent dimming is checked. Otherwise, it will look like this. But you can check here auto reveal if you want so that at least it will show you the clash But it's not ideal, right? So if you will be using dim other option, so make sure transparent dimming here is checked. Or you have an option here to hide other items. So it isolate the clashing items by hiding the other items. So just click that one. It will only highlight the items that is clashing. Okay? So that's hide other. So I'm just going to select here dim other and then... I want to animate the transition. All right. There you go. Okay. So if you see the clash, like for example, for my clash number two. Okay. So there's the clash. So you can 
uh, temporarily move the object here in Navisworks. So that is what I have uh, shown you last time. So you can move, you can scale, you can rotate the object here in uh, Navisworks Manage. Okay, but the best practice is it would be better if you just modify that in Revit. And then after that, export the model as an NWC file or update your uh, NWC file on the Navisworks. Okay, and then you can rerun again the test and then you will not be able to see or the issue that you have modified in Revit. So like for example, this uh, duct here, you moved it away. So it will become uh, resolved. So the color will change to yellow if you resolve this issue. Okay, so you have two options. So it's either you modify the model completely in Revit or you can do that here in Navisworks. Okay, but best practice is you do that in Revit. Okay, since the original model came from Revit, so that is our uh, modeling software. And then you modify it. Okay, solve the issue and then after that, save and export again or update your NWC file in Navisworks. And then after that, you rerun the test, this test here. Okay, so if that is solved, it will be placed here, resolved. So the color will change to yellow. But since we don't have Revit, so let me just quickly show you if I want to, uh, if I want to remove this clash here, like the clash between the pipe and then this duct. So I'm going to temporarily move that. Now for me to be able to select easily my duct here, because if I click this one, it selected other elements, right? So I'm going to escape this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide other. Okay, by doing that, I'll be able to select either one of the clash item here. Okay, so like for example, this duct. So I'm going to select that. Okay, and then after that, as you have learned already in my uh, previous videos, you, you can go to the item tools and then you can modify it. So I am just going to move this. So let's click move. So I'm going to use the red one. So I'll just move it here. So as you can see, it's move away now. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to rerun the clash. Okay. You see there's an exclamation point there. So the model or test settings have changed. Okay. So I have moved this one. So what does it says? Okay, so whenever you have a change or modify your your model in Avisworks, so you can see there's an exclamation point, meaning there's a changes. So this model or test settings have changed since this test was last run. Results may not accurately represent the current state of the model. So we need to rerun the clash. So I'm going to move the slider down and go to select tab. Let's go to select tab. Move the slider down and then let's run the test. So let's click that one. Oops. Run test. There you go. And then as you can see, all of the all of the tests or all of the issue here becomes uh, orange color. Right? So what is orange? So they are all active, active tests. And then I now have here one result. Okay? You see here on the uh, summary so I have op nine open clashes and then one close or resolve okay so that's on the yellow so you see this one so if you click that so that's the one that we just resolve right okay all right okay so basically that's your uh, clash detection so on our uh, next video the next thing that we're going to do is let us explore report oh by the way before we uh, end this video so well if there are some instances that your clashes or your issues are in one area so you can actually group these clashes into one clash so that's why there is a group here right so let's say clash one three and four so they are just on one group or one area for example or you just want to group this issues so there's an option to group it okay so you can also right click and then you you can select group 
There you go. So they are now on one group. Okay? So you have that one group. So let's click that new group. There you go. So that's our group. Okay? So you can do that. So this is useful especially if your clashes are concentrating only on one area. You don't want to, you, you just want to concentrate on that area with these clashes so you can group it. Okay? Right. So that's it for this uh, video. So hopefully you learned something from this one. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.